Uh, leading up to this wedding hasn't been easy, much like everything else in the past year, um, but I'm sure I speak for myself, Laura, when I say that today has definitely been worth the wait. Good afternoon, everyone. May I take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to the beautiful Clevedon Hall on this very special day for Nathan and Laura. We're here today to witness their joining in matrimony. And on their behalf, I'd like to thank all of you for coming here today to celebrate the beginning of their new married life together. I'm sure it means a great deal to them that all of you, the special people in their lives, can be here today to share their happiness and witness their vows. When we first met in year eight, I was probably considered, or so I like to think, relatively cool as I played sport, and Laura perhaps not. She had in her own, she had in her own words, a biff, which I suppose is an unconventional hairstyle, wasn't in with the popular girls, and seemingly didn't understand how to act in front of a cool peers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We spoke of break times in between class, and I quickly realised I'd never met someone as special as her. Don't get me going. She, she was so innocently sweet, naturally beautiful, caring, funny, and so incomprehensibly different to the rest of the people I knew. From there, the rest is history. We would always sit next to each other, hold hands into the table, and laugh at anything we could. Fifteen years later, and we are here, still doing this thing, still laughing, and still the best of friends. Right, welcome everybody to this fabulous venue. It's superb. Uh, Laura, you look absolutely stunning. You are, you are the perfect daughter, and we love you so much. And you made our job as parents so easy. When you were little, you always got on so well with all your friends, and your caring nature always shone through with your love of animals, and you were always happy and full of fun with a great sense of humour, and live life to the full. Me and your mum have been there for you all your life. We've seen her be sick, <laughs> wet herself and cry herself to sleep. But that's enough about her 18th birthday. <laughs> we are very proud of how you've grown up and achieved your goal of being a teacher, which you wanted to do since you were a little girl. To the, uh, to the flower girls and page boys, well, how, ador how adorable did all of those look, let's be honest about it. Family really, really does mean the world to me, so seeing you all walking down the aisle is something that will live me forever, and it's certainly one of the best moments of my life, so I thank you. As an avid Leeds United supporter, um, I've bought you all, all the children, uh, football kits, um, Leeds United football kits, so obviously later on, get out your suits and get out your dresses. Um, and put those on, we can dance the night away in your new, in your new favourite uh, football team's kit. Hello and good evening. If there was anybody here this afternoon who's feeling nervous, apprehensive and queasy at the thought of what lives ahead, it would be Neil, because it's finally happened that Laura's actually married Nathan. <laughs> other happiness, fulfillment and love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As a consequence of this, they now wish to affirm their relationship and offer each other the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. Marriage is not an easy path. It demands courage, the courage to be open with each other, the courage to grow and change and the courage to sort out together the tasks of everyday living. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, supportive, and above all, a best friend. I remember the day when I knew I wanted to marry Laura. Not many people know this, but after Laura completed a university degree in teaching, we moved to Wiltshire, as this was the closest place Laura could find a, a full-time job. We really had absolutely no money between us. 
just enough to keep the roof over our heads and the bailiffs away from the door. One day we woke early and spoke and dreamt about a time where we could afford luxuries in life. Obviously we didn't dream that big as we settled on dreaming about being able to afford a Chinese takeaway. Forgetting the conversation, Laura went to work and I milled around the house. On her way home from work, Laura found a couple of quid in her bag. Went to the nearest Chinese takeaway and bought us a bag of prawn crackers and some curry sauce. <laughs> we sat at this little two-berth kitchen table in our rented kitchen, eating the cheapest, cheapest takeaway ever, and we just laughed. <laughs> Telling each other stories and just living in the moment. In a strange way, living in the happiest moments of my life. As it was then that I realised I didn't need to dream or have any luxuries in my life. I just needed her. She was my luxury and my best friend. And in that moment, I hope she was my future wife. Right, over the next few minutes, I'll be guiding you through what amounts to one big cry for help, Nathan's life. <laughs> As he calls it, a real rags to riches story. <laughs> we have the inglorious doll period, when Laura propped him up in Wiltshire with her teaching job paying for his extravagant Chinese lunches, as he's already mentioned. <laughs> it was a, consisted of prawn crackers and curry sauce. And weirdly, it was at this moment he knew that she was the one. And that he will forever be in her debt of about £2.79. <laughs> You've given us a beautiful granddaughter, Arla, who we're very proud of. We love her to bits and she gives us so much joy. You're a wonderful mother and she's a mini me and full of fun like you. <laughs> Nathan, you're wonderful as well. <laughs> you're, you're kind, you're generous, you're relaxed and laid back and you've always been able to make Laura laugh and you get on so well together. You're a great dad to Arla and I know you'll look after both of them forever. And as you keep telling me, Laura's so lucky to have you. <laughs> so, in September 2018, just before I proposed to Laura, we welcomed our beautiful little daughter, naughty daughter, Arla Ashley, into our world. Naughty daughter? Since you became a three, not you, not you. You've been a, you're a good girl? Okay. Since you became our three, since you became a three, our lives have been glittered with joy. And I often find myself getting quite emotional thinking of how much I love both Laura and Alan. They aren't just a part of my life, they are my whole world. And to think that all of this started in year eight, when we saw, first saw each other standing outside the VT block, is not only overwhelming, but a great source of pride for me. Strangely, I do remember when we first got together, I asked Laura how long she thought we'd be in a relationship for. Do you remember? Laura, in her unfiltered opinion, said, I don't think we'll make it to the end of summer. <laughs> Shaken up in defence, if I replied, I can see us being together for a lot longer than that. So without further ado, please stand up and raise your glasses to me being right. <laughs> and to my beautiful wife, Miss Laura Ashley. Thank you. Anyway, it wasn't all academic and sporting mediocrity through the but Nate, there have been lots of other things he wasn't good at, probably too many to take you through, but in the main, it's anything that requires effort or being a postman. <laughs> this has to be at the top of the list. From crashing vans to losing his colleagues' travel privileges, it's fair to say even the Queen had a sigh of relief the day he handed in his notice. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. 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 What have you done? <laughs> all joking aside, I think we can all agree that you look absolutely stunning today. <laughs> and I can honestly, I can honestly say, at the same time, I've never seen him cry so much, but I've never seen him look so happy as when you walk down that aisle today. <laughs> Another thing we can all agree on is without you in it, Nave's life would be a total mess. <laughs> Quite literally. 
It's really quite admirable with your endless amount of time spent down the recycling centres of Cardiff, how you manage to hold down three jobs. A great teacher, a wonderful mother, and a full-time carer for Nathan. <laughs> I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. To be there for you. To be there for you. When you need me the most. When you need me the most. To laugh with you, to cry with you. <sighs> to laugh with you and to cry with you. And to confide in you. And to confide in you. To trust you, to comfort you, to support you. To trust you, to comfort you and support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And be faithful to you always. Be faithful to you always. These promises I make for the rest of my life. These promises I make for the rest of my life. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. <laughs> so if we could now have Nathan's ring to give to Laura. Thank you, Philip. So if you just put it on the tip of the third <laughs> finger, left hand, okay, and repeat after me please Laura. I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. To be there for you when you need me the most. To be there for you when you need me the most. To laugh with you, to cry with you. To laugh with you, to cry with you. And to confide in you. And to confide in you. To trust you, to comfort you, to support you. To trust you, to comfort you and support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you and be faithful to you always. I promise to respect you. <laughs> respect you. <laughs> and be faithful to you always. And be faithful to you always. These promises I make for the rest of my life. These promises I make for the rest of my life. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. Great pleasure, I give you the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Ashley. Now, back to painting that positive picture of Nathan. I was deeply honoured when you finally asked me to play such a role on Nathan's special day. And beneath the bullish, outspoken, and borderline arrogant exterior, there's a man who I know cares deeply about the people he loves. A man who would do anything he can to help in any way that he can. And a man that's extremely loyal, talented, with a strange amount of knowledge on the most useless of topics. <laughs> and the people who love you, and believe it or not, there are a few who would all agree with me. All of these traits are going to stand you in good stead in life, not only being a great friend, a dad, but also now a husband too. So, Laura and Nathan, the Rags to Riches story continues. And I'm sure it will go on forever, but understand this. You can't buy what you two have built together. So nurture it, love it, and most of all, invest in it. And I'm sure it will provide you with your biggest fortune. Now, please join me in making the most of the moments we have left and raising your glasses and toast the bride and groom. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear the biggest cheer of the day and I give you Mr. and Mrs. Ashley. Stand up for one last time and raise your glass for the most beautiful, caring, and wonderful woman I now have the pleasure to call my wife, Laura Ashley. Yeah.